Well, the second quick sip, I guess, since we're mm -hmm. talking quarterback there, how about the next one is, will Dylan Rayola choose the Huskers? Figure it's a nice, easy one sip, <laughs> you know, it. just uh, <laughs> tell us, uh, what do you know, yes or no, is he going to become here the uh, next top five-star? We legacy? won't make a clip out of it or anything, so don't worry about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead and make a clip. This is just between you and us. I don't talking about it at all. I like the subject because it's a legit <laughs> subject. I mean, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a genuine discussion, uh, and it's a genuinely interesting discussion. Nebraska's in it. There's no doubt about it. Um, I don't say it lightly and I don't say it without, you know, I talk to Dominic all the time. I mean, it's not, I don't, and, and you understand Dominic played, you know, his last year at Nebraska was 2001 and we stayed in touch. So I've, I've talked to him a lot over the years. We, we talk a lot now and it, that's why I don't, I feel like I speak with a degree of credibility on it because we've discussed it at length. Yeah. yeah they're right in it. Nebraska's right in it. I'd say it's I my perception is it's Georgia, Nebraska. You know, that's that, that that that's I'd say Georgia number one, Nebraska number two, looks like USC and or USC probably three, Oregon's in it. Right now, not much else. I don't I wouldn't say there's anybody in it um, besides those four. Dom did say someone could emerge. Um, so you watch that. TCU has gotten mentioned. I don't see that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Nebraska is legitimately in it. They're doing a great job so far, the new staff, of making Dylan a priority and making him – and doing it the right way. Mm -hmm. Dom lo loves football. He's a – you know, I mean, I know it's kind of a no-duh, but not all those guys love football. I mean, I, there's guys that play that don't love it. Dominic loves it and loves talking about it and, and really has enjoyed talking football with Satterfield. And rule so they've done a very good job nebraska to this point of establishing themselves in this and so i yeah it's a great conversation he's the number one player in the country he's a game change yes. does he, they're does right he in have they, haven't screwed it up. they haven't screwed it up is there an expected timetable for him to announce mm -hmm. Do you know yeah i mean i think it would be march or april I okay so it's, it's not a, it's not a matter of uh, him wanting to see what the team looks like necessarily. Uh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Uh, in a sense, I think they do. I think they want to get, they want to continue. I mean, they, they have a pretty good in in that regard, right? Well, I mean, a commitment's just a pledge until they sign though. Right. Too. I mean, that's I guess true. You, yeah. You that's know. scary. That's a scary part of it. Um, yeah. They want to see, they want to, well, I, I'm not, this isn't conjecture because Dominic has said it on the record as has Dylan that, one of the things they're looking at is a place that has a chance to win, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right. Sure. They're very interested in personal growth. They're very interested in, they're really interested in him getting better as a player that they, they want to go to a place where they feel very comfortable that Dylan is going to get better and better. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So all that, all that is the discussion and, they want, him, they want him to be at a place where they feel like he's getting better as a person, too. That's always big. Dom always talks about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of an involved discussion. The, the thing that I would tell you that would concern me, and this is just my read on the whole thing from talking to Dominic, is that Kirby Smart is the guy leading the charge for Georgia. It's the man himself. And Kirby's a great recruiter. He's a He's he's a he's very oh I don't know he's just a good, he's a good BSer he's he's loquacious uh, he's he's one of the best recruiters in the world <laughs> so that's what you're dealing with and he's got the best program in the country so Kirby is very persuasive those go hand in the hand hey Sip <laughs> what's that those go hand in the hand being a really good recruiter and having the best program in the country <laughs> <laughs> I tend to yeah. is Coach yeah. Rule loquacious. I don't, I don't know. I think he is. I, I, I'll tell you why. I, I think that means flexible. Excellent, excellent <laughs> use of the word, Honky. Excellent. Okay. Use of the yeah, word. just look it up. I think I got it right. No, <laughs> you keep I, using I, that I, word. Rule is a talker, and he's very good. He's very uh, pleasant. He's not, you know, he doesn't try to be slick. In fact, he said, I don't hmm. really have a pitch. I just tell him, here's what we have to offer, which is sort of a pitch. But um, he just tells the guys, well, this is what we can do. And I don't know. I enjoy, I enjoy, I mean, I really, I, there's a, 
I hope I'm right. It's just a gut feel. You don't know. But I think they got something in Ruth. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I got you know. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, go, Dave. I just wanted to jump ahead. in really quick. Sip, you know, yeah. uh, Rob mentioned uh, your show early break, and I, I listen to it um, quite often too. In this last week or two, you've had Bill Bush on as your co-host, mm -hmm. which I, it's just been fabulous. And I was listening today, and he was talking about recruiting and, and Coach O, and and I mean, he he probably has some of those same characteristics, right? I mean, I, I, it was intriguing to, to hear him talk about how what the impact of sending almost the entire coaching staff out to Phoenix to, to talk to, to Dylan was. I mean, that's what's been like just having Bill in the studio and some of that insight he's been giving you. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's fascinating. Thinks of things. I mean, I always say football is really involved, and I, that really – occurs to me every day when I listen to him. It's really involved. The, the whole thing about Ed, Ed Orgeron is interesting to me because he's kind of a, almost seems like a character of himself sometimes. Mm -hmm. but, there's a, yeah. but there's a lot of depth. And, and the, what Bill tells you about Ed O's recruiting, I think, I think rules a lot like it. Like you heard today, Bill talk about they had those power hours. So at yeah. five o'clock, Ed Orgeron would get all the staff together for an hour and those staff members would have to get the top guy they're recruiting on the phone and get FaceTime, put him on FaceTime. Ed Orgeron didn't want to talk to him on the phone. He wanted to talk to him on FaceTime. And it, and you and you know what? You better have your guy. You better have, have your guy. If you didn't have it, it was a bad day. Mm -hmm. Now, Rule does power hours. I mean, they, they mm -hmm. have power hours. So uh, it, I don't know. Listen to Bill. What you get is, well, you know what Bill always said? I mean, what he's always said to me, even back when he was at LSU, was simple. Simple. At LSU, it's fourth and one every day. It's fourth yeah, and one every that. single day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, I wouldn't say when he got to Nebraska, it was fourth and one every day. All right. But at LSU, it was fourth and one every day. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what – you know, they want that's how you win a national championship. So, without talking out of without talking out of turn, Stip, did he did he mm -hmm. give any indication to you that when he got here he was a little surprised at, at the structure of things? <laughs> uh, I don't know how to phrase that properly. <laughs> I think you asked it just fine there. Okay. Yeah, 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 no, that's a good question. Um nah, not this I don't think he was surprised by that. He was surprised when he got here, you know, he was an analyst. Yeah, he didn't have to do much, he said. And he did say yeah. on the air that he was surprised how little he was used. Mm -hmm. um, He's such a his, positive guy. I, he yeah, was given his resume. He was yeah. surprised that he wasn't he was he wasn't allowed to do much. So that was that. There was that. Mm -hmm. So well, sit, to close. I mean, to close out a little bit of the of the the Rayola talk. Two things, I guess, with this. One of them is I've got this tweet for me here, and it's it's what mm -hmm. he was talking about. With I call it a sleeping giant because it is a giant. It's one of the giant programs in college football. You can say it's just another program, but it ain't uh, in this house. It's not just another program, I guess, specific to, to Rayola. How big of a role do you think uh, dad can be in this? Well, he, I mean, I, I, I don't ever have trouble answering that question because mm -hmm. all you got to do is say they're a tight family. And they are. Mm -hmm. They are a tight knit, real tight knit family, real tight knit. Um, so naturally – dad's long before Dylan became the number one player in the country. It was, I'm sure it was very clear to Dylan that his dad had a strong affinity for his alma mater, real right. strong. Now, again, everybody's a little different that way. We all have some affinity for it, but you know, guys that have a stronger affinity than others. Right. Dom's on a very high end of that. He loved it. Mm -hmm. Rest that profound impact on him. Um, loves coming back. Love it. Loves the whole thing wants it to be good he in his he he has a dominic has a very strong desire and for he's been saying this sleeping giant stuff for a long time mm -hmm. um says it and he says that he says, he says you know so we haven't been having these conversations year after for years but he wants it badly to turn and you know come on i mean think about it what if what if his son God, and his uncle that. And his uncle played major roles in that turn. I mean, how do you mm -hmm. think Dominic would feel? 
it would be incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know he's entertained that. Oh, thought. he's played a big role. You know, again. like that's like when we think about winning the lottery. Dominic's yeah. thought about his son going to Nebraska oh, and bringing he helped us back. Ben, Smith, or ben Scott come here and everything yeah. from, from Hawaii. He was yeah, instrumental. Like a Dominic was instrumental in that. And I, was, my understanding, Sip, he was mm -hmm. frustrated last year, the first go around when when Dylan went through the recruiting process a year ago with Nebraska, has he talked at all the difference, I guess, to, to reflect on this new staff, has he talked about the, the difference of, of time two versus time one of yeah. Nebraska going after him? No, he hasn't talked about it directly, but I, we talked about how the head coach, the former head coach handled it last year. I'd say it wasn't great. And this year he talks a lot differently about it. It's mm -hmm. like, it's like okay, this is what we wanted. This is what we kind of expected. Um, so, so that's what I think has set Nebraska on this right course, and it's mm -hmm. kind of changed the conversation. Sure. Um, that's why they. That's why we, I'm talking about Nebraska now being in the hunt, like squarely in the hunt. I wouldn't have said that a few months ago uh, before Rule was hired, but yeah, they've quickly they've quickly made up a lot of ground. It's been impressive. What 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 what. What was the impetus of him actually decommitting from Ohio State? I mean, what what caused him to to pull back from that and start open up his recruiting again? I don't know exactly. Okay. Um, I I don't know what he has said. You know, I can't remember exactly what he said on the record. I don't think he, they were obviously weren't entirely comfortable with the way he was being recruited. Oh. Um. So. Well, I know they got that other quarterback, and they said they were. Well, there's all to. that. I I mean, it's hard. But that, for a five stars, can get a little tricky. They can get a little tricky. Mm -hmm. 